Hey guys, I'm Kerbal Essences and this is the story of my Kerbal Space Program. Welcome to the never ending glory. So, we've been chosen to lead Kerbalkind into space. The reasons are yet unknown, but will hopefully become clear along the way. This first day I will spend getting to know my space center a little, to then develop and fly my first rocket. To the very left, or north in this case, lies our runway. From here we can take off craft we built in our space plane hangar, which lies right next to it. We are here at the bottom. This is the administration building from where we can manage and balance our resources like funds, science and reputation. Next up is the astronaut complex, where we can hire pilots, scientists and engineers to extend our crew. This giant building in the middle is the Vehicle Assembly Building or VAB for short. Here we store our parts, build rockets and other stuff, which gets them placed on the launch pad. The tiny building next to it is the Mission Control, where we can sign commercial contracts to increase our funding. As you can see our current balance is only 15,000, which is not enough to conquer, uh, explore the solar system. The last two building complexes are the research and development facility, where we can review our gathered science and research new parts, and the tracking station, from where we can locate and access all of our craft, both in space and on ground. This is my space center. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Good morning and welcome to the VAB. As you can see, I have not many parts yet, but this shall not stop me from testing my launch pad. This is the MK1 command pad, which will harbor my brave Kerbinards. It looks like Jabediah has already taken seat, so let's check it out. Well, I don't think we get far with this one, but Jab can still survey the launch pad. Luckily we didn't break anything, so we get refunded all of our cost. We've also managed to increase our total knowledge, which is nothing but science. I personally dream of getting to the moon and beyond one day, but this means I have to increase my funding. Huh. Launching a vessel for almost 5000 funds. Nothing easier than that. We have pretty much already done that. We also got some science already. Too bad I didn't sign the contracts before. Anyways, we can also set some records to get additional funds. Let's see what we can do. So this is my first missile. The Glory V1. It features four solid rocket motors from type Flea and weighs 6.2 tons. The thrust adds up to 720 kilonewtons at sea level or ASL for short. This would be enough to lift 72 tons from the ground. Yes, to figure out the thrust in kilograms, you just have to divide the kilonewtons by 10. This is because the force in newton includes the gravity acceleration, which is roughly 10 meters per second squared. And to cancel it out, we just have to divide by it. So, our craft weighs 6.2 tons, while our engines can push up 72 tons. That's almost 12 times as much as necessary. This is called thrust to weight ratio, or TWR. Such high ratios result in a very fast takeoff. I however want to aim for a TWR of roughly 1.5 for a moderate acceleration, so my rocket doesn't explode due to too high speeds in the lower thick atmosphere. 6.2 tons times 1.5 is approximately 10 tons. This is the thrust I need. And 10 tons of thrust are around about 14% of 72 tons, which I currently have. I use the thrust limiter. Okay, enough math. This is completely optional and you don't have to do this if you don't like. Eyeballing gets you to space too. Now time for launch. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and we have a lifting off. This looks good, more than 6000 meters of altitude. Enough to set some new records. Now I have to run my GUI experiment quickly. 
Oh, I love green check marks. Nice. I wonder how far would have I gotten without limiting my thrust. Can you see that? Only 3200 meters. This is because the atmospheric drag increases exponentially with the velocity. If I double the speed for example, I increase the drag by a factor of 4 instead of just doubling it as well. That was a pretty hard landing but nothing broke. I am now again able to refund most of my cost. I basically just paid the fuel and thanks to the fulfilled contracts and science I made, I am able to unlock and buy some new parts. This however is part of the next episode and I hope to see you there if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.